The Dark Crystal Games team is back with a new NK's development update. Today we will pay maximum attention to bloody duels, strategic combat and spectacular fights in the world under the dome. Welcome to the complete overview of the combat system. Recently we released a third content patch, the last one of the early access. It redesigned encased balance and role-playing systems. New abilities, skills, perks, weapons, equipment, psionic powers and four difficulty settings. All of these were added in order for players to get the most out of the world under the dome and enjoy their playtime. Cockroaches are no longer an impossible obstacle in exploring the mysteries of the forefathers. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us to develop the game. After all, the most valuable resource is player feedback. Why did we choose a turn-based combat system? In our work on Encased, we pay great attention to the skill system, balance and role-playing. Turn-based combat not only unlocks infinite potential of combat strategies, but also allows us to experiment, try new things and find ways to defeat the strongest opponents. In turn-based battles, the player has enough time for elaborate strategic decisions and not-so-obvious techniques. Besides, the turn-based system is much more convenient for squad management. Turn-based battles are also a tribute to the classic RPGs, as well as settings working by the D&D rules. Does player builds matter? Yes, this is one of the most important elements of the game, that will affect the playthrough much more than it seems at the first sight. The game already has 15 character archetypes, each of them adjusts to different combat schools through a new system of attributes, each linked to damage. What does it mean? For example, let's create a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Immediately we're faced with the decision of what attribute to level up. If you level up hand-to-hand -hand combat with muscles, you will get a straightforward fighter. Deftness, the attacks will be focused on constant movement. If guts is your main attribute, you'll specialize on combat gloves. Smart character will build their combat strategy from secret techniques and critical strikes, while a perceptive person makes their own hasteless combat style. This is just one example of how you can create a build. Important clarification. Only RPG veterans will need to think this hard. At lower difficulty levels, though, even beginners will have a chance to survive a couple of fights. And Case never had a problem with a small choice of weapons, but now the choice is just huge! And you really want to test every gun on helpless adventurers. You can now choose from a wide range of weapons. Pistols, rifles and shotguns, grenades, energy weapons, makeshift disc throwers and acid rifles, brass knuckles and combat gloves, psionic abilities and new non-lethal weapons that will allow you to complete the game without killing anybody. In other words, the game has now the widest range of tactics and approaches to combat. Each weapon school now has four combat skills that are really different from each other. Here's just a couple of examples. Break. You deal so much damage to your opponent with a melee weapon that it will fall apart in your own hands. Expensive, but how spectacular! Already dead will be useful in hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is a delayed damage that will take effect in several turns and leave little to none chance for an enemy to survive. Mad Strike works with heavy weapons, namely with a grenade launcher. This deals very high damage to the enemy and will hurt you too. Use it with care and a large health pool. Snap Scope will suit the masters of psionics armed with a rifle. The character will get tired but will always hit their target. These are just a couple of examples. There are no specific strong or weak attacks in Encased, because each is unique in its own way and depends on your combat strategy. Don't forget that armor also affects character performance and fits into different styles of combat. Try to find the set that will perfectly complement your playstyle. By the way, in the third patch we have added several special armor sets related to the main factions. After the third content patch, Encased combat system was completely overhauled. We strive to make it more mobile, responsive and interesting. Don't sit still the entire fight. Move around the field. Use your skills. Experiment. And the game will encourage your desire for new things. Small tip for our players. Play it the way you want. Play the role and test the world for all it's worth. From the very beginning of Early Access, we keep a close eye on mistakes and shortcomings, 
read your reports and reviews, and we'll surely try to balance each element so that everything works perfectly. What awaits us next? Have you experienced the start of Early Access and the very first public version of Encased? The Pioneers had at their disposal a very small arsenal of abilities and perks, but with each update their number grew. The third patch completely changed the game, but this is not the end of the development. Right now we are improving existing abilities and adding new ones. That way in the release version of the game you will have a huge freedom of choice. In addition to that, we focus on designing new enemies and an updated AI system, which will teach opponents to tactically use area of effect and cone attacks, to treat themselves and their allies and use technical devices. In the release version of the game you will encounter a lot of new battles and events. Each meeting with an unfamiliar opponent will be memorable and very likely the last one of your character. Thanks to everyone who watched our development update to the end. On our channel you will find many more videos dedicated to the work on Encased. Remember, feedback is an important contribution to the project, so don't forget to leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel and like this video. Meet you under the dome.